Hi, it's Brad here with Alt-In Technologies. Somebody had posted in our community forums the following question. They asked, I would like to restrict users whose Outlook connector is linked to a project email account from deleting emails from the project email account. Is there any way to do this? So in other words, the project, the, the project email account has a shared folder. Or the folders for that account are being shared out to other users. And we want to prevent those users from making any deletions. There is a way to do that. And we can also prevent those users from, users from making any other edits or changes and basically marking those folders as uh, read only. So this concept applies not only to, a, to access to shared folders that are under a specific account, but this also applies to accessing uh, public folders. So if you want to prevent users from making changes or deletions to contents within a public folder, the same concept applies. So I'm going to show you both methods, and then I'm going to show you where that information is stored in the mdaemon configuration files. I'm going to start out with uh, showing you how to do this for public folders. So let's say, for example, if we go to our public folder manager via the setup menu, and I've got a folder here created called accounting. And I want to restrict access to that folder so that people cannot make changes. They can only look up and read the information. So we click on the name of the folder, and then we click over here on this button, Edit ACLs. ACL stands for Access Control List. So we'll click this button. And currently, the following users have right have access to this folder and the items listed under the access level column correspond to the different types of access rights that the user has for this particular folder you see a series of letters here l r s w i c and d and so forth and if you want to know what those letters mean we click on the help button down here okay so this tells you what those letters mean so in this case, notice look up here is an L and read uh, uses the letter R. So we want to prevent all of these users from making changes. What we do is we highlight the user and then we deselect all the boxes that correspond to the level, the access levels that we want to revoke for these users. I want these users to only have look up and read access. So I've unchecked all these other boxes and then the way to implement these changes is to hit the replace button. That replaces the old access rights with the new access rights that you've just assigned. And we'll do the same for these other users. So we'll just simply click on that user and uncheck the other boxes and hit replace. And I'll do the same for this remaining user. And then we'll hit replace. Okay, so then we can hit OK. So, in essence, what we've done is we've allowed these users to only look up and read contents within this particular folder, the accounting folder. They cannot make edits or deletions. And then we click on OK. Now, let me show you where that information is stored, and then I'll show you how to follow the same concept for a user's, an individual user's shared folders. So, this is my mdaemon, this is my computer right here, and mdaemon is stored in the C drive. So, we'll click on C. We'll drill down to the uh, mdaemon folder. And what I'm showing you here is how to access the configuration file that was just updated by making those changes to the public folder access control rights. So inside the mdaemon folder, we have a folder called public folders right here. So let's open up this folder. Basically what we're doing is we're navigating to the, uh, to the folder that we've whose access rights we've just adjusted. Inside the public folders folder is a folder for each of my domains. I made a change to a folder that corresponded with the example.com domain. So I'm going to open that folder for example.com and the folder in question was the accounting folder and here it is. So we'll open the accounting folder and inside you'll see a file called highwater.mrk. If we open this file with notepad we can view its, its contents and the section we are concerned with is this section right here. Access control. So I've revoked default access rights for anyone. And anyone under my specific domain now has lookup and read rights, as well as for these other two users. So these are the other two users whose uh, access rights I have 
um, adjusted. Had we not made those changes, then all of those other letters that I showed you on the uh, configuration screen would also be listed here next to the uh, corresponding user. So that's how you prevent your users uh, from making any edits or changes or deletions to a, another user's, uh, or excuse me, to a, to a public folder uh, for any particular public folder whose access rights you wish to edit or change. We can do the same thing for a particular user's shared folders. So for that, let me exit out of this and we'll go back, we'll hit OK. And let's say, for example, I want to make sure that uh, the, uh, a particular shared folder under a particular account can only uh, have read and look up access rights. Nobody is allowed to make any deletions or changes. So we go to the accounts menu, we go to our account manager, or you can choose edit account, either way will work. And I've created an account here called accounting. So we'll open up this account, and then we'll go to shared folders. Now I've created a folder here called invoices. So we highlight the folder whose access rights we wish to edit, and then we click down here on edit access control list. And then we basically follow the same steps. So for each user, we'll take away all of their access rights except for look up and read, and we'll hit replace. And then we've got one more here. Okay, so this is the actual account that this folder belongs to. So I don't necessarily need to revoke access rights. This basically would be taking rights away from itself. So we can leave these boxes checked. And then we hit OK. Okay, so having made those changes, those settings are stored in another highwater.mrk file. So that file is located under the users directory. So if we go back to our m and daemon directory here, then we go to users, and then we click on the uh, domain for that specific user, then we click on the user, the users folder here, and uh, I changed the access rights for the invoices folder. So we open up the invoices folder. And then here's the highwater.mrk file, which we can open up with Notepad. And again, we have a section called access control. And this is where that information is stored. So I changed the access rights for uh, these two users. I was about to change the access rights, but I, I changed them back for accounting at example.com because this folder belongs to accounting at example.com. So we want to keep those rights here. So that's where that information is stored. And anything else in mdaemon is basically stored in a corresponding configuration file. So this is how you revoke access so that users have only lookup and read rights to a particular folder. So thanks for watching and have a great day.